Joining us right now, Rajiv Sharma, co-head institutional research at SBI Cap Securities, and also Sunil Ala, commentator and founder of SKA Advisors. Gentlemen, thanks for joining in. Sunil, let me begin the discussion with you. Marketing and advertising budgets are typically areas that bear the first blow of budget cards. Give us a sense of what the sentiment has been like in the light of GST rates being high, an auto slowdown and a slowdown in the overall economy for the media spends and the advertising growth. And now do you think with the corporate tax rate cut coming in, the sentiment can get a fillip finally? You know, uh, if you're just talking about advertising, it's the it, the whole season starts now. You get Diwali and you get Durga Puja in Calcutta and all the festive season starts now. So everybody preserves their budget for the year during the next three to four months. And now with the tax cuts, I don't think uh, that they will have to start spending money. And if you go by whatever has been done in the past, you'll always find when the economy slows down, it's the new products. For instance, even in cars, this uh, MG is overbooked. If you look at it, it's a new car and everybody else is crying except uh, this MG car, which has just come in and, and they are unable to even supply the demand that is there. So advertising is bound to go up. New products will and should get launched or at least there should be innovative promotions right now, which will take place in the next uh, October, November, December. And if then sales don't pick up, then you automatically see in Jan, Feb, March, there's another decline and then people start spending again. So it's actually this third quarter, which is critical in terms of uh, to gauge whether demand moves up or not. Okay. And I think that with the tax cuts which have come in, of course, the profitability of the companies will go up. And, and I've been screaming ever since from the July budget when it was announced that, look, we've got the supply end taped up. But if the demand side is what is still lagging, and I think if the government gives some benefit to the middle-income group, then you'll really see a, a big boom. But otherwise, people are just going to not spend, if you know what I mean. And there's going to be, you know, people have got money in cars and people have got money for building up houses. But even if you give money to the real estate and they start building up all the houses, employment will go up. But unless there's a demand for the house, you're back to square one next year. So uh, a little bit of money has to be given to the middle income group. And then with this overall thing, I see the economy will, will just take off. Okay, so then you're seeing a more uh, prolonged impact than Sunil, not just a festive season boost, uh, you know, as long as we see that um, pivot point play out over the next month or so. Yeah, I think, you know, like even if the middle income group is already, if by February, which is the 1st of February, the budget is going to be presented again. I don't see the government now uh, dishing out any more uh, goodies. But 1st Feb, the demand side will be, should be taken care of. I don't know the way the government thinks. But if you don't put money in the hands of the consumers, it's the oil that is required in the engine because then the virtuous cycle begins. And then industry starts, once the demand goes up, industry will give more employment, they will produce more, and the whole virtuous cycle starts. So I think that's the only little gap which is left because, you know, for cars and all, when I talk to people, they're very happy that their EMIs have come down. Those are the guys who've taken the loans. But how many people are actually going ahead and taking the loan for a new car? That has to be seen. And that will be, see, if everybody just puts forward whatever the government has given, I don't think it's going to work. The government has given, say, 10. I think the industry must also add 10 to it from their side and make less of a profit and in the coming, in the coming three to four months. Because if you're just a post box with whatever the government has given, I'm going to pass on, it's not going to work. I mean, industry must now play its role. And, and they must also cut in, and then, then you can see uh, the demand going up. So, Rajiv, just to bring you in here, A, you know, what's your view? Do you also see perhaps uh, spends then crossing, let's say, 30,000 crore? What's the kind of figure you're looking at for the year? And what are the kind of mediums that you see advertisers going for as well? Uh, where do you see the best returns? Yeah, hi. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, so we are uh, roughly around 70,000 crore, you know, ad market. And uh, TV had its challenges in the first quarter. Uh, the new tariff order which has got implemented has impacted reach of uh, most of the broadcasters in the first quarter. And uh, it's not over yet. The reach is still lesser, 
what was it before the new tariff order. So given that TV will not do a 13-14% which it's been doing for the last couple of years, we see TV doing uh, low single digit. In fact, um, last quarter Z management suggested that TV excluding sports uh, was uh, down by 6%. And uh, this year, uh, you know, given that we see TV doing 8-9%, print uh, a flattish to 1% kind of growth, digital is what will do well. Uh, it could do 30-35% and I believe by next year, digital and print should uh, converge uh, on the total, you know, spends which happen on both the mediums, given the uh, fast track growth which digital is uh, seeing. Uh, and uh, yes, corporate tax uh, cut is good, but um, you know, as Sunil pointed out rightly, that uh, anyways everybody is geared to spend in this festive season. Uh, they could spend little more, or they could think of doing some more promotions. Uh, so th that's how we see the big picture. That overall will grow by 11, 12 percent. TV will grow a little lesser, a uh, high single digit. Um, and uh, what we'll see doing well is uh, digital. Uh, what we are also seeing is some of the brands like uh, you know H HUL or Dabur doing uh, our Marico. They, they uh, seem to do better on the ad spends uh, than others. Um, so that's how the broader trend is looking like. Okay, so Neil, just to bring you back in here then, um, you know, if we see sentiment turned, will that lead to perhaps new launches uh, even down the line, I know we're already at the cusp of festive season now. Um, you know, but what's the kind of quantum of an increase in spends we could possibly see going forward? What do you think would be the new normal in this environment? You know, as far as I'm concerned, look, he's uh, uh, Rajiv also right that, look, the first two quarters, people have not spent that much money and there's been a dip. Now the question is, if you're taking a percentage increase over the first six months, then there'll be a massive increase. But overall, to make up for whatever has not taken place in the first six months, I doubt if this year we'll see it, but next year definitely will. See, the important thing at the moment is even in sports or whatever areas that one is looking at, that look, at this point of time, people are a little hesitant. The perception has to change. It is changing. It is going to take a few months to change. And therefore, perception is going to overtake reality if you look at it from my point of view. The consumer perceives the economy moving up, great. If the consumer perceives the economy is not moving up, then you've got a big problem, especially in rural areas. See, the important thing is if you take biscuits, for instance, and if you just take a 5% drop or a 10% drop, it means 25 paise. Or, or 50 paise in a, in a pack of biscuits, say, at 5 rupees. You have to drop it by 1 rupee for it to get the consumer to start feeling something. So if you just transfer and you take a 5 rupee pack and reduce it to 4 rupees, 50 paise, that won't work. The percentages start working at higher prices. You know, like if you take a 10% drop on, say, 50 rupees, it means 5 rupees. So brands like Amul, when they are selling cheese or the higher price biscuits and everything else, they the impact will be much more, whereas in chocolates and things like that. And HUL is already taking massive price drops. And the important thing is that brands like Lifebuoy and Wheel and the lower end, there the industry will have to spill, uh, it will have to you know cut its own profit, add to what the government is giving them, and then you'll see a great perception change and the demand will start going up. So Rajiv, you know, give us a sense then in terms of how you see the. Uh, environment panning out and how co how companies could possibly plan to tap into uh, you know that change in demand whether it be through discounting whether it be through um, uh, you know perhaps change in pricing strategy uh, new launches you know what could they have in store given uh, given the kind of ammunition that they do have currently so for companies generally it's a portfolio approach uh, for example <clears throat> On Lifebuoy or an H, you know Lux, HUL has been running a lot of promotions and pricing promotions. Uh, that's very visible in the regional print media. Um, so I think, uh, and what has happened is, you know, one of the big uh, two-wheeler companies said that they have a full tax benefit of 400, 500 crores uh, this year. Uh, now two quarters are gone. You got this 500 crore coming this year. You come to know at the you know towards the end of 2Q, you already have outlined a budget for spending, 
uh, on the marketing you may increase it marginally it is q4 which will see uh, a larger benefit of the ad spend if q3 turns out to be uh, little more than normal or normal then q4 will see okay that there is more encouragement to spend a little more in q4 because uh, but you will not see the entire uh, savings out of this lower corporate tax rates uh, going into the ad spends uh, somewhat the Q4 budget may increase marginal Q3 because anyways everybody outlines a large chunk in Q3 uh, there will be a lot of momentum given by you know the Flipkart big uh, big day sales and the Amazon also coming in so those will uh, redefine the momentum and I think digital will see uh, much more spend because it's become more tactical and it's getting more popular with you know all these uh, influencers uh, so uh, that's going to pick up but that's small you cannot really say that you know uh, that's going to result in any meaningful increase in the spends uh, for that we need to just uh, see TV stabilizing uh, over the next quarter and I think uh, we should be back to um, the earlier numbers uh, in early next year Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. Good to hear from both of you on the kind of outlook you have going forward.